thing like that. Hi everyone, Sandra from Scaps Beauty, and it is Sunday night. If you're watching over on YouTube, thanks for joining us. Watch the recording. Just waiting for people to pop in to fix my um, screen here. Right, Joan? <laughs> Let's see, there we go. Hey, Randy, Teresa. <laughs> hi, Ella. <clears throat> Kathy, hi. I ordered the two books you showed. I got them the other day. <laughs> <clears throat> hi, Josie. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Let's see, just waiting. I see Beaven. See you there. Hi, Vicki. <laughs> hi, Patty. <laughs> Friday, Patty. <clears throat> you ran in uh, from the expo this week. Oh, nice. You ran into who? My chat is like a uh, Josie at the expo. Not the Josie in the chat. Hi, Eileen. <laughs> Hi, Dar. <laughs> All right, so first thing, um, so we're going to be doing something for Alice in Wonderland. So if you're ever watching over on YouTube, the recording, and you're not interested in the chit chat, um, just uh, this Josie from Australia you couldn't have. <laughs> um, just push ahead to the recording until we, uh, we get into the project. So first I'm going to show off the Art Marlene um, watercolors. So Josie, Josie, huh? Josie. I don't know who you mean, Ella. <laughs> All right, so let me just put these over on the side. Hey, Kimberly. All right. All right, so I have my book. I've already taken them out. It's your body double. <laughs> I'm missing who the Josie is. I'm not sure who you mean, Nella. Hi, Bren. She said she, sw she watched your stream. You always put a heart by her name. Oh, huh. Must be another Josie then. I'm trying to think who it is. Well, sorry, Josie, I'm missing, missing who it is. Oh, she came up to you. Oh, that's good. I'm trying to think who that is. Hi, Linda. Uh, Josie. <laughs> All right, so, so I've already taken them out of their little covers. And I thought they would be pretty much like Prima's uh, watercolor. But I think they're a little different. She lives in South California. Oh, all right. So, <laughs> Josie, that you call. Oh, Janie, gotcha. That's why I don't know her. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> so, it comes in this cute little box. You can see her little box there. And again, these are from Studio Light. So, they are made up in the um, Netherlands. That's going to put, I know, now I know who the, I now I know. I call her uh, Janie, so, but they call her Josie, so. <laughs> um, but when I took the, the little papers off the pans, I was kind of disappointed a little bit. So we'll see how they go. Hi, Kia. But here are the colors. So they're lipstick, I mean, this lipstick, sunset, uh, sunny days, zest of life, ocean, galaxy. Bare Skin, Pink Pixie, Floral Magic, Bohemian, and the Navy, and Midnight. They're, I hope they're, they're nice and bright. We'll see. So she has her, you know, cute little box. Um, so the other thing, too, is, and um, this card's more like a watercolor card. It's not real shiny, so they should swatch better on that. But here's the thing, too. See how most palettes this this does not lay flat and I can't tilt these because the thing I don't like about these they must make them separate and then they drop them in the pan because if I was to turn this over they would all fall out so I wasn't too wild about that I'm trying to see now I probably can't get one out but they come out super easy see, like this one Let's see, if I can... see they just pop right out they're not um, in there at all so they must um, pour them separate and then just drop them in the pan 
So, and I don't think Jane or um, Prima's, they do that. I think they're actually poured in the little pans. So that was kind of disappointing a little bit. All right, so let me move this out of the way. So I'm not feeling my mermaid today. I think we're going to go with the unicorn. <laughs> After in the chat, a queen color. <laughs> yeah, it is different, right, Josie? Because, like I said, if I was to tilt this, more than half of these would fall out. They're so loose. They're just, they just pop right out. So that's kind of a little disappointing, I think. So let's see what colors they are. All right, so we're going to go with the lipstick. So, oh, and the other thing is, so you can see, this does not, see, it does not lay flat, you know. So if you were to swatch this, all your water is going to run and all your colors are going to run down in here. So you can't really use this like a swatching or a, um, whatever pooling thing that you want to do. You know what I mean? Because can you see, like, this is nice and flat to the book, but I could stick my whole hand under here, and you can still see it's tilted way up, way, way up. Like, it does not, and you can't force it down either. So that was kind of, nah, I'm afraid, Patty, because it's like, I'm afraid I would break it. So I wouldn't take the chance doing that. All right. So here we go. The first one, and I'm going to spritz them. Oh, I also went to Kramer, so uh, let me talk about that. I didn't bring my palette home because all my little pans look so nice and full, and I just did not want to take the chance of them running into each other. So, hi, April. So I didn't bring my pan home, so they're going to mail it. But I'll show you the ones that I did do. Where's my other little color? Oh, hi, Colleen. So you didn't like that either, right? And how, did yours just pop right out, right? Yeah, because when I opened them, like almost all of them would fall right out of the thing. And then does yours lay flat like this? I'm afraid to push mine all the way down like that. I don't want to break it. Does yours stay straight up like that? Yeah, they fell out. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, so I know, I think Prima and Jane Davenport, they pour theirs in their pan. So these are separate. They, you know pour them somewhere else and then just drop them in the pan. Um, so let's see. All right. So, uh, of course, I have everything is shimmer in mine. So I don't know if you could see. Let's see if I can, um, I might have to get some. I think I put it against this. So there. So that first one is like a lavender. It looks, so you can see that's lavender. It has a little glitter, but not a lot. Come on, focus. There we go. So you can see just a little. And then I did the brown, and then I have plain brown, and then I have brown with sun gold. I didn't swatch the sun gold, though. Yes, your lid does that, too. Yeah. This one I really like. Can you see this? This is, like, super blue. Oh, there it is. And look at all that shimmer in there. Oh, my gosh, I love that. Everybody loved this one in the class. That one's really pretty. And then this, Patty, do you have this one? This is one that you should have. I think it's called Dino, oh, Dino Green Mirror or something like that. I have all the numbers on my uh, pan, so when I get them back, I'll tell you what color this is, but that's definitely a Patty color. So you can see here it's like a seafoam, kind of like a seafoam green. But, of course, then I added, um, <laughs> I added turquoise. Um, shimmer in there so I don't know if you could see it but this color switches from um, like a seaweed green to gold <clears throat> yeah I'll have to give you the number I'll have to let you know what it is when I get my palette so then what I had I had uh, some of this one left over and this so I combined these two and I got this so let's see if we can see what that is so it's a lighter oh, the sh oh let me see if I can get the it's a lighter, there it is. You can see the real, the turquoise now, the shimmer in there. Come on, focus. Oh, there we go. There we go. You can see that one. Yeah, so that, this one is a combination of these two together. And then this one is just the plain Pacific, there you can see it. It's, uh, uh, not Pacific, turquoise magic or magic turquoise, something like that. <laughs> that. So you can see that's just pure, pure shimmer. <laughs> um, similar thickness to Krimer. These are from Krimer. Uh, let me, I don't know why my chat is like half broken off. Hold on. There we go. 
Yeah, because I went to act the school, um, the store, which does the cream of pigments. Uh, hi, Norma. And so then oh, this color, like, and it was nice because they had different colors that we normally didn't do. They had a color, it's pixelating. I don't know what to do about that. I know Debbie, when I went looking through her videos, all, a lot of hers was pixelating. So I think that's something to do with YouTube. I don't know why it's why they're doing that. Anyway, so this one is called graphite and it's a natural graphite. So you can see I, I put the turquoise in this one. And then in this one, there's no turquoise in that one, but it has it has a little shimmer. Come on, focus. Focus. Oh, so annoying. Come on. Well, anyway, this one is a really nice one. And then I combined this with this one to get this. And this really looks to me like a whale's skin. Oh, my gosh, I love that one. Uh, hi, did you all right? Welcome. So that one, oh my gosh, everybody love that. And then this one is like a lavender and it has very slight shimmer, like hardly a little bit of shimmer, not that much. You can see it there, a little bit of shimmer. There, now you can see the graphite one better. The graphite one was really cool. And then my last one was, this one is dark red, 55400 with sun gold. And hi, Dorothy. That's that one there, you can see it. So it's got a lot of shimmer. That one was really pretty too. And so it was good I went to the class because she totally said different things in this class than she told us, Patty. <laughs> like um, when she was mixing the pans, remember she said she's a baker, so she really likes precise measurements. And remember she just told us we needed to be, it had to be like a certain consistency. Thanks, Janet. Um, she actually said that um, per one pan, per one of these, you actually need just one full um, pipette full of medium, maybe sometimes a pipette and a half. That's not what she told us because remember in class, she was putting like a lot, like two and three um, of the medium. So it was different. Um, she also said that, um, now I don't know if I have any Viridian, but she said Viridian, if you were to use Viridian, you really shouldn't have it in a pan. It should be in a, um, what happened? I get your room. <laughs> um, she said you really should use that out of, tu out of a tube and use just for that day. I forget why. I, I don't forget if she says it dries out or it's no good after. But she said Viridian is one color that um, you definitely should have in a tube and not a pan. So I don't know. Do you have any of that, Patty? I don't think I have Viridian. And then what else did she say? Um, she also said, too, like when you're spraying, you're, no, you don't have Viridian. That's probably why we don't have it because it should be just in a tube. Um, she also says when you're spraying, really what you should do, so let me see if I, I'll do it now. You really shouldn't spray. We have Viridian. Oh, Viridian, yeah. No, she said Viridian. Um, what she said is, you know how we spray the pan? So now you're getting it wet. But she says, you know, some people, they'll keep going like this, dipping their brush in and adding more water. So now you'll have like a well of water in there. And then some people like to, you know, go from there directly to the pan. Um, a Viridian doesn't read wet. Oh, OK, that's good to know. Thank you. So what she says is if you keep doing that, you keep um, adding so much water to your pans. Uh, the class was in New York City at the Creamer Pigment. Um, store or Kramer. I always, I always say Kramer. It's Kramer. Um, and that's their pigments are from Germany. And like I said, they actually had colors from France. There was like a green color that was from France. There was a yellow one that was from Italy. So she really brought out a lot of different um, pigments that the, they usually don't bring out. Anyway, so she says, if you keep doing that and you keep putting so much water in your pan, what happens is it draws out the medium. And then by the time you get halfway through, you have no more medium in because you put so much water that you've drawn out the medium. So 
So that was kind of interesting. I did not know that. So I'm just going to put a drop on each one of these. So maybe it's better we don't spray it anymore. But it was a good class. There was only six of us. So we actually had the whole table to ourselves. Um, <clears throat> is that what I was taught you? That's what you were taught years ago, right? Yeah, because that's what she was saying that all, you know, you'll take, you'll draw out all the medium and then you'll wonder why when it's like halfway, why it's either dried up or cracked and you can't use it. Yeah, there's a lot of information, Josie. It was really good. All right, so let's go. I have to go this way. All right, so this one is lipstick. Yeah, it was Kramer in New York City. They actually, I think, have another class, Patty, the same day that we're doing Anna Victoria's class. Um, but that class starts at 3 to 7. Can you believe that? 3 to 7. So... That's pretty, isn't it? That's a nice pink. I wish I could zoom in for you guys, but I can't. I'll have to just bring it up. I know. Dang, right? Oh, my gosh. I would be, if it was at four, we could leave there right at three and get to Kramer and do it. <laughs> but she said Roger is the one that usually does the newsletter. And... Um, I don't know. He's either sick or something. And so now somebody else is going to take over the newsletter. So that's why there wasn't a newsletter out about the class. Hey, Julie. These are nice and dark. I could say that. That's a nice yellow. They're really bright. Her, is it focusing? Oh, let me see. Is that going in and out? He's the one who's shipping your stuff from Germany. Yeah, he's sick, so I don't know what's happening with him, but have you talked to him lately? That's pretty, too, the green. It's fine, you sure? Okay. Janet, did you fix your problem, your computer problem? Ooh, look at that one. Oh, that one's nice. I love that. The ocean one. That's a nice teal color. Look at that. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? That one's really pretty. Focus is fine. Okay. <laughs> no, not yet. You don't know what the problem is? Oh, that's like a dark galaxy. I would have thought galaxy would have been more like a blue purple, but that's green. It's pretty. Yeah, the teal's pretty. So let me bring up. Oh, I forgot to focus. I have to do those. I forgot that. So look at these. These are nice and bright. Can you see that? This is just a label. That's the label that came off the little pants. All right. So this one, bare skin. I want to see what this one is. Oh, too much water. That's a nice flush color for um, faces and stuff. Are you welcome? <laughs> Do I have any procedure? No, I'm. It's scheduled um, for December seventeenth, so I get to go to Patty to Anna Victoria's class on the fifteenth. Then I come home on the sixteenth, and then I have the surgery on the seventeenth. And they couldn't put the needle in my other leg to drain it to see if there was an infection because he said. There's no way that he really could do both knees if there is an infection. So take care of this knee first. Make sure all the infection is out. Put the new knee in. Then put the needle in the other knee. And if that one has an infection, I'll have to do the whole thing all over again. <laughs> so it's like, ugh. Oh, that's good, Bren. Yeah, I just put it on there. And this way I have the names. Um, and you can see the colors are really nothing like what's on their little... This one's pretty close. This one's close. This, but this pink lipstick pink is not anywhere near what's on that label. Uh, yeah, it is awful. I'm not looking forward to it. 
I'm not going to probably do it. Uh, the closer it gets, it's like, oh, I get more and more. Uh, I can't worry about that right now. <laughs> oh, I like that pink. Look at that. I know, Eileen, you don't like pink, but that is a nice flamingo pink. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, I know, Jesse. You know Anna Victoria? Yeah, Patty and I are going to go to that class. So <laughs> that is a nice pink. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, my gosh. I love that. <laughs> I hope not either, too, Joan. I hope not. The part that worries me is that, remember, I always told you I have pain in it, and it's like the pain is getting worse. So that is not a good sign. <laughs> Not a good sign. Oh, that's like an opera pink. So I wonder if there's, oh, maybe these two are purples. Oh, that's really opera pink. Can you see that? <laughs> Look, Eileen, there was three greens, so don't complain. <laughs> that's like opera pink there. You can see that. Come on, focus. There we go. They're super bright. I have to say, I have to compare them to James. They even look a little bit brighter than James. Oh, thanks. Thanks, April. And there was a girl actually there, and she wasn't really too friendly, I have to say. She was, because there was six of us, so there was four on one table, and then myself, the teacher, and then this other girl. And apparently, um, Case for Making, you've heard of her, or she's on Instagram, um, she also took a class there from Kramer and uh, Kramer. And uh, that's where she learned how to make her paints. And so she used to make her paints for this girl who has kits. And so now she's no longer making her uh, paints for kits. She's only doing it just for her store. So the girl was there learning um, how to make her own paints. So, right. So this next one's Bohemian. So I said they're going to do the surgery and then test the knee for the front. Yes, Ella. Yes. Yep. Do this one, take it out. And the other thing, too, is so annoying is so I thought I was going to have to um, move my dining room table and bring like a hospital bed because I wouldn't be able to move my knee. If they put a, a spacer in there. So until they do the surgery, we won't know. They won't know how, what kind of, you know, how bad the infection is or anything. So if it's really bad, then they put these spacers in there and we can't move your knee at all. And then your bed rest for six weeks, six to eight weeks. But if it's not that bad, they can put a, a movable knee in, which I'm hoping for. So, but I won't be able to find out any of that until the actual day of the surgery. So, which means I need to fix two rooms. I need to fix my dining room in case I need to get a hospital bed or fix the same room I had last year when I had my left, my other knee. <laughs> so it's just like, ugh. All right, so this one is Bohemian. So this looks, now see how loose that is? I don't know if you could see that. It's so loose in the pan. Can you see how I can move that? It, it, no, you can't see, but it's super loose. I don't like that. Oh, this is a nice purple. That's pretty. Queen color, what's a queen color? Op oh, opera hat, <laughs> the pink opera. On the other knee, not the one she's having surgery. With. Right. My left knee is the one I've had done twice. And it, the glue was loose, but also now is an infection. The right knee I had done last year, and that was done for the first time. So, all right. So, this one is in the Navy. Oh, not real bright blue. It's kind of more like a purple blue. So, she doesn't really have a navy blue. So I think we would have to mix our own. The group queen, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, and then a black. So it's interesting that she doesn't really have like a navy blue blue. But all the other colors are super bright. Oh, the new movie. Oh, it's coming out. That's right. So let's see. There you go. Oh, come on. You can focus, can't you? Come on. There we go. There's the black. Hot pink. There's the red. 
that orange is really pretty. It's more like an orange. Green. There we go. Yeah, they're really pretty. I think they're really pretty. So then I'll throw in when Kate comes out with another <laughs> another palette after that. You love the ocean one? Yeah, that's your color. That's for sure, Patty. So, all right. So those are the colors from Art by Marlene. And I only have one because Notions only sent me one. I'm hoping I'm supposed to get like two in the store. So I'm hoping they should be here maybe Friday. So if you're interested in it, I'll have it at the store, hopefully, by the end of the week. I have that coming. I also have Prima's um, watercolor coming, too. So we'll test that when it comes. So hopefully, I'm hoping that comes maybe at the end of the week, too. <laughs> Most of these colors. Yeah, they, we do. But this, like, if I put this next to um, Jane's. Let me see. Where's my little book? Oh, I wish I had my little book here. I would show you. I'll have to get my other um, my other swatch book so that we could see what Jan. Oh, I can maybe just show you in the. Um, oh, where is it? Of course, I don't have my palette for James. Where is my little? I would show you in the swatch cards, but um, I used it last, and now I don't see what I did with it. <laughs> Oh, it's around somewhere. Well, I can't find it now. But what we'll do is maybe Sunday I'll make a comparison. So between these colors, but they're, I'm telling you, they're super bright. I like it. <laughs> Mikey like. All right. So I thought I was going to paint with Jane's, but now I don't see where my little palette is. So maybe we'll have to paint with these. <laughs> All right, so I am not a big Alice uh, in Wonderland band. <laughs> the Vintage Pastels, yeah, I'm going to get those in the store. Hopefully by the end of the week, I hope. We'll see. Um, so I've never, I've seen out the Alice in Wonderland movie that, uh, what's his name? Uh, Depp, uh, what's his name? Mm -hmm. Oh, Johnny Depp was in. That's as much as I've seen of Alice. <laughs> Oh, you did? Yeah, Josie. Yeah, she's dying for the Prima ones. So, so I um, I didn't have any Alice in Wonderland books. So I, I thought I would get some for um, inspiration. I saw Josie. Um, she went and got um, this book. And so I love the graphics. And she loves anything with bunnies. So um, I did get this one. So this one is by Robert Inkpen, and that's, um, look how cute the bunny is. And the illustrations in here are so pretty. So I might even read it now. Since I have it, I might as well read it. <laughs> so I'll just show you a couple of the pictures. Like, see, so here's Alice falling down. Right, Josie? Yeah, so if, I'm, if you hear me talking on the recording, I'm talking about Josie's muse. She loves bunnies, and she paints bunnies. And so, like I said, I did not have any, look at the mouse. <laughs> the expressions and the um, illustrations here are so cool looking. And then here's all the animals here. Hi, Joyce. I did ask about your garnet color. And so Joyce in the chat wanted to know how to make garnet. And so she said, now on my palette that's coming, I have a brown, it's like a yellow brown, and I have a red. So she says, if I mix those two together, I should have a little bit of a garnet. So you need like a brown, like a yellow, and like a red. And you should be able to make your garnet color. So try it. <laughs> All right. Um, like, look, look how cute the little mouse is. So look at her face here. I almost like when you've got your finger like, ah, ah, ah. I like this one. Um, so, yeah. So look at that. So cute. And she does some really cute mushrooms. Oh, you're welcome, Joyce. When I get my palette, I will um we'll try it. So and look at I love this face with all the little wrinkles on there. Thank you. So I've got this book, and here's the bunny. He's so cute. <laughs> um, so I got it for inspiration. Look at the snail. 
and it's got a dolphin in. Like, where does the dolphin? I didn't know the dolphins were in Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I'll have to read it. Like, this is a lobster. There was a lobster in there. <laughs> you love it, Janet? Yeah. Look how cute the turtles are. They're so cute. I guess that's the queen. Oh, don't look. Look at that. That one's really pretty. Yeah. So, so I did get this one. I think I got this off of a books. I think I've told you guys before, if you can't find a book and it's an old type of book, you can go to Abe, A B E books.com and put in the uh, title. You didn't know. You didn't notice the lobster. It's like, what lobster dolphins? What? <laughs> um, so uh, that's where I got this one from a books as well as I got. Now, this one reminds me of James Burke. I had to get it just because it reminds me of James Burke. But look at this. So now this is by um, illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia. That's typically James Burke with the eyelashes. Oh, my gosh. But I, I wanted to get a different. Um, so here's the cover. You see that? Isn't that cute? With the crazy shoes and stuff. It's an odd, yeah, it's an odd Alice. So I was like, oh, well, I wanted to try it. So I have a different perspective on it. It's like, look at, here, look at that neck. That's definitely James. <laughs> yeah, he loves his eyelashes. <laughs> he does. He leaves actually tomorrow for Australia. So, um, so let me just see. But I thought the illustrations in here were like kind of kooky, <laughs> but like that, this one's cute with the little dodo bird. <laughs> you love eight books, you use them all the time, Kia? Yeah, I do too. And you can get them pretty cheap. Sometimes I can find a book that's like, I don't know, $20 on Amazon for like $2. So I always go to eight books first. Let's see. I'll hear that one. Look at this. This is totally James all the way. Can you see that? <laughs> So it's just crazy. So it's just bigger. Maybe I would do a page like that. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything else. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Poor little thing. <laughs> like this. An octopus and lobsters? Where is that? Look. That's in Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> octopus. Dolphins. There's a narwhal. Can you see the narwhal there? It's like crazy. I never knew that. <laughs> uh, and then poor Alice. She's drunk there. <laughs> and here's another one. Yeah. So this is actually looks like a shrimp. <laughs> yeah. They're in the Queen's Court. Oh, hi, Jamie. Thank you for my hitting. I hit the lottery from Jamie, <laughs> the card lottery. <laughs> and uh, she sent me a cute little card. I mean, tag and some napkins. Thank you, Jamie. Um, and then I got this. I thought this was a crazy kind of looking girl, too. So this is Alice in Wonderland. But these are cards. I bought them just to look at the faces. Because they remind me of, like, the big-eyed girl. So, and each one is just a little bit different. You can see that there. <laughs> So just something different so that I have a couple of things. Like I said, I'm really not an Alice fan. <laughs> like it never really it was never like in love with Alice. So <laughs> you like these? <laughs> like here, like here's a giraffe. A giraffe? A giraffe's in the Queen's Court? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy. So like that. Look at that. I just love that her big eyes like that. And it's just like I might draw, draw one of these girls like that with the big eyes. So. What that look the dodo. Look in these books, they are always said you own oh, drugs. You should be drugs. Understand it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Like this one, this would be a good steampunk one if I wanted to do a steampunk one. Uh, this is by. What's this by? Yes. Yes, Judy. Jasmine Beckett Griffin. Look at that with the white bunny. So and there's the cat. He's a cute little cat. 
evil though. <laughs> you love that? Yeah. So I'll just go through here real quick. There's another one. Bangs, look at look at these so mean. <laughs> There he looks a little bit better. Still has fangs, though. That one looked pure evil. <laughs> you asked him, I'm going to explain the math jokes. Uh, that's your cat? <laughs> that's your cat, Janet. <laughs> that's Janet's cat. <laughs> evil. And the little mouse. Look how cute. Now, where does the mouse come in? I don't remember the mouse either. <laughs> and there's a tea party. So that one there's the queen. Queen of hearts. There's your cat, Janet. <laughs> uh, what's to understand? Tripped and fell in a rabbit. <laughs> she had her head injured. Poor Alice didn't know what the what the pill was for. <laughs> oh my gosh! Now this one I like with the unicorn. So now is there a unicorn in the story too? <laughs> um, this one she looks sly. Like the, this one looks so cute. Look at the little dragon. A little dragonfly. That's so cute. And that. <laughs> the poor mouse is early in the story. Oh. There's candy. And look, she's an actual artist. This is the um, who's the artist that uh oh, what's his name? Something in the night. You know who I'm talking about. Oh, I forget. Anyway, that's what it is. Shine. Is it called Shine? I forget. <laughs> All right, and then there's another steampunk one. I like that. Mm, the clock. And Bambi. Bambi is in there. <laughs> Bye, Josie. <laughs> Come on. Okay, talk to you later. I don't know. <laughs> so they're, you know, but they're, I think they're cool for inspiration anyway. So we're back to the beginning. <laughs> Starry Night. Thank you. Yes, Van Gogh. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it was Starry Night. So I got that. And the reason I've got the Alice books is because Jane Davenport is having her Alice in Wonderland class. I didn't join it the uh, first time, so I missed out then. <laughs> oh, Patty missed out. <laughs> um, and then I got the coloring book. I figure I could color, uh, cut stuff out of here. So I'm sure, I'm sure Dee Dee has one of these or shown one of these. So we might cut out. I have the frame here. I don't really color, so um, there's a big frame I thought I could cut out for the cover of my book. Either we could do the clock. <clears throat> Hi, Kalina. Um, I did see a big frame I thought I was going to use. I might be in the back. Yeah, this one. So maybe we might cut that out and use that for the cover. I don't know. We're going to see. <laughs> see what we're going to do. You have that coloring book, you think? <laughs> All right, and then do you guys ever remember this? These were Heidi Swap's cards, and that everybody used to do mixed media and make like a big giant book. I found these, so I thought maybe I would use this. So we'll see. <laughs> Poor Patty, what happened? I missed it. <laughs> Patty needs better drugs. Uh, <laughs> Janet colored all the pages. I don't know about that. And then I have this. So have you seen uh, James Burke? I want to put this in one of my books. So it's an actual teacup. So you can see almost just do it like this. So it's a little teacup with the saucer. So you can see it's going to go in there like that. So it'll be a, a little teacup like this. Can you see? And then this is the little smoke that comes out of it. And I don't know what this is, but we're going to put that together. And so it's when you close the book and you open it, it's the teacup. So I'll use that for the teacup page, whatever that is. All right. So we have lots to do. So I did take this tape. I've shown you guys these, uh, this tape before, the document repair tape. That's the handle. Oh, that's the handle. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> that's what it is. Um, and then I don't know who gave me this napkin. Look at that. It's perfect for this. The teacup napkin. For that. All right. Where is my book? So I took out, remember, I've taken out the pages from my Jane Davenport um, journal. So these are all the extra pages that I've taken out of the book. And so then what I did was I used this tape. 
you can see, yeah, the reflection of the, oh, it doesn't like the white. Um, that's going to be a problem. There we go. So you can see the tape is very, um, not, you really can't see it. You can see it because the light's on it. So I taped all the pages. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the front and back cover. So put it this way. I'm going to put this here. I'm thinking I'm going to have to add another piece of tape on this side here. Let me stick this here so it has something to focus. Aw, Jamie, not feeling good? Oh, sick and all. All right, so let's put this on here. And I'll just make it stronger, too, so. So my thinking was, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to put Alice on the front cover um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, um, the roses with the face in there. I have Jean's little faces. Remember, we cut up the stamp. All right, so this is pretty easy. I just peel this back, and then you just add it on here. The hardest part is trying to get it straight. <laughs> And then you just pull the tape back. And just lay it down. Aw. Poor Jamie. All right. So I have, now where's my little, let me get my stuff out. So I have our stamps. I cut out some um, mushrooms. Let me see what else I have here. Let me just get my So I wanted to see if we were going to use these, this rose from here. The faces might be a little bit big, so we'll see. So I'm going to do this as a front and back cover. I thought I would um, actually put these on here. And I want to actually get those. I'm going to have to put these big ones. Shh, cut them down a little. Let's see. This is the face stamp that I cut up from Jane's. And so what we're going to do is put these faces inside the little flowers. You love the mushrooms? Don't say that too loud. <laughs> Janet. I can't get the mushrooms anymore. I do too. I love the mushrooms. <laughs> what is Jane doing with Alice? She has a whole class. If you, um, I don't know if you could still sign up, maybe until tonight. Um, but it's Alice in Wonderland class, but it's all on watercolors. And so, um, yeah. Um, and so she teaches you how she uses her watercolors, you know, her method, how you know, her she handles watercolor. So. I have to put this one up here. Thanks, Ella. All right, so so I know I want the roses. Um, hopefully that will still work. So I'm thinking I want like a um, maybe like an oval or a cir uh, circle where we'll put Alice in Wonderland, and then put the mushrooms. Maybe I'll put the mushrooms in the back. But I want to get the roses. So if we put one, two, maybe three, four, like five roses. So, so we're going to have to put the faces. Let's see which faces I'm going to use. So 
So I think this one's a cute face. If we could put that one there. We'll put this one where she's looking up. Maybe that there. So we need five, five faces. There's that one. I don't want to lose that. I think that's what we're going to use. I think we're going to use these five. Like that. So, hi, Jerry. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to glue some of the mushrooms down first and then put the roses on top. I'm not really sure. So let's see. So if I did this, her face, yeah, her face should go right in the middle. So hopefully we can add the... Um, I'm just debating on what <laughs> um, all right so I'm going to do it like this so we'll do one like that one up like that so we need to find these girls and then stamp them although I want to put down um, some texture in the background I think first so I have some of the um, die cuts of um, Joan has gifted me. So let's see what we have. Ah. So we could put the clock in the middle. Oh, that one's too big. We use, I think, we're going to do the Alice in Wonderland here. Let's move these. I might have to do the roses separate on another piece of paper. This is. So we put that there and then put the Alice in Wonder. The size of the clocks, I know. She made them huge, right? <laughs> so, so we could actually do a couple and add them on there. There we go. <laughs> I know they're ginormous. So if I did that, Alice in Wonderland, maybe we could just do one of the roses. I still put the roses on there. Can't make up my mind. <laughs> and I need the little hands. Let's put the little hands in there, too. We're going to just um, put that down with clear gesso. <clears throat> Did you cut? No, Joan um, actually gifted those to me. 
So that's always so nice. I always have to just go to her die cuts. <laughs> I don't have to cut anything out. And I don't have any clocks like this. So this worked out perfect. So should we put it down with matte medium? Maybe matte medium. So let's do that. I wonder if I should do it on both, so it will be just half, what do you think? Half on one side. And then this way I could do the roses coming up the way, don't you think? And then we can do it out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it so that it's on both pages. Oh, you know what? I don't hardly have any more in here. Um, let's do it with the clear gesso. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Oh, I might have to get Jimmy to open it. <laughs> oh, because it's screw on. Hello, would somebody tell me that? <laughs> Screws on. Yeah, it was so nice. Friday, we're going into the city. It was raining like crazy. But then Saturday was really nice. The only bad part was I had to wait for the ferry because the class was over like at 3. And the ferry wasn't coming back until 5.30. Oh, it was quarter to 6, something like that. It was cold. It was starting to get cold. It was cold. All right, we have that one and this one here. What I said. Well, I have an experience with cutters. <laughs> yes. Joan has them all. with that. I don't have a Cricut Explorer. Alright, this one goes first. <clears throat> I 
Is there a certain time Alice goes down the rabbit hole? <laughs> I'll put the right time. This one at two. Oh, you have a silhouette pattern? You never used it? Oh my gosh. Uh, where's the other ones? <clears throat> and then this one we'll put at, oh, I don't know. Set of, quarter of. Nobody patty, yeah. <laughs> oh, you girls didn't tell me. Ella, you didn't tell me to put my gloves on. This one we'll put uh, 10 after. How's that? All right, so we have that down. Let me put my gloves on. You love your cricket? That's good, friend. <laughs> I gave the bag of wands to uh, Joan. <laughs> All right, so we have our clocks down. Uh, I'm gonna put this on first. This just makes it easier to, um, let's this gloves in a bottle, just easier to take the paint off later on. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put the mushrooms on this side and put the roses on that side. Now that I see them all hanging down like that, that would be cute, don't you think? Let's do that. So I'm going to glue the mushrooms down. I like the way it's just thrown over here. I only have two of these little ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I liked it better before when it was just thrown all over the place. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Jamie. <laughs> All right, so I think that looked good. So we got three, four, five, six. Six, seven, two, four, five, six. We need one more. Maybe I'll just need a different, a different mushroom. I think we'll just cut this one different.
I just kept this one a little different. Then I'll just, I think I'm just going to And we'll put that one there. Eileen, what is she doing now? <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to do that. We'll stick that one under. I think I'm going to cut this part off too. All right, there we go. Okay. Some more on here. Let me put this one down first. One. Am I going with clear gesso? Yep, clear gesso. Now I'm going to white gesso the whole thing after, probably. And then this one.
didn't even know that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, then I'm just gonna put Claire just over the whole thing now. The nice thing about the Finn's uh, gesso is it's not gritty. It's nice and smooth. All right, so we have the mushrooms on one side. Uh, read the chat <laughs> before you say it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it wasn't going there, <laughs> Joyce. <laughs> uh. All right, so we have that down. Maybe we could put a cute little snail or something in there later. All right, so then on this side, I am going to do the roses. So let's see what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah, Liquitex is gritty, but this is, and this is nice and smooth. That's the one thing I like about her gessos that I'm talking about. This is uh, Finnabar's Art Basics. You can get it at uh, Michael's with a coupon. Um, all right. So let's see now. I'll put this on this side. So we want to do a vine, and I think I have a vine that, that um, let's see. Oh, I have one of these cute little hearts. I have one of the, I might put the heart on there. Um, I'm just looking for some of the vines that uh, Joan has given me. Just hold on. I took everything out, so I thought I would be prepared, but you know how that is. <laughs> you know how that is. I don't see them now. Hold on. Huge mess behind me. So, uh, now I took them out. Hold on. One moment, please. Right, Joyce? <laughs> One moment, please. Just chit chat amongst yourselves till I find it. have these two. These are Jolie's that I have in my stash. I know I have some other things, uh, but not a, not a whole lot. This one's the Queen of Hearts. So I have these vines. I also thought about doing this, like swirling down. I don't know if I could put that in here or not. Oh, and here's Jane's little cup. So see, this is how, can you see how it looks after? Come on, focus. There we go. So when you open up your book, it, it pops out like that. All right. Oh, and I have these little bonds, too. Oh, I had this bunny, too, that Joan had made me. I was thinking maybe I would put it. Maybe I'll just put it in here. And the bunny. Just glue them in there. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to run ink all over this. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick him there. And I have these cute little hearts. I'll probably use those um, for my queen of hearts somewhere. And then I have these vines, which I think I'm going to use for the roses. They wind up in the ER. Why? <laughs> what happened? 
Oh, the porcelain trays. I keep debating on whether to get the this uh, this conch or the uh, seashell, the one that spirals. <laughs> They're so cool looking. But I don't really um, paint from the palette. I guess I should, but I don't. All right, so, so we have these to play with. Um, I also have this, too. I might do that in the background because it's got all these little vines. This is Finnebar's um, new stencil. This one's called Passiflora. So I might use that. I'm debating whether or not to put this. Oh, and I have these hearts, too, that Joan gave me, which I'll probably use in there. I'm debating whether to go over this with this stencil. So this is um, Stamperia. Um, Mixed media um, stencil. Hi, Jean. Here's Jean. <laughs> Are you all rested up now? Are you home? Oh, for your hydrocolor collection. Uh, I bought another empty palette. It's so cute um, off of Amazon. It's um, got cherries all over it. So I'm thinking of doing that for um, April's ones that I have because I can't fit them all in the one palette that I have. Either I'm going to put that or I'll put my uh, Kramer ones in there. If I don't use that in this, I'll use it on uh, a sting. I think I'm going to save this for a steampunk gum. But it would have been cool, cool to put it inside here, inside this. But I'll save it for a steampunk one. Your home came home right away Monday morning because your sister was, oh, your sister was sick. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, you did? I'll have to go check it out. April. So she said she streamed today. I didn't know you do. So is your stream, is your YouTube the same, a little creative? Hey, Marilyn. I had to stay Wednesday on the train. Oh. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll do a steampunk page with um, Alice. So we'll save that for a steampunk page. All right. So I want to add the, these for my roses. So let's see what we have. First time streaming? Oh, when did you do it? I missed it. So we'll do, so we can do one rose here. We could do one, we could do three roses. I think I'm gonna one, do three. Oh, do I have another vine? Is that what your channel is? A little creative? I didn't see your answer. All right, so let's put these to the side. Do you see the drop camera box? Yeah, it shows some April some love there. Yep. All right, so so we have one rose there. We got one coming there. So one here, one here, and one here. Now we need another another vine this way. All right, so I'm gonna put that down like that. So I'll have one rose, one here, and one here. Well, I want to leave room for the title because I'm gonna put the title here, Alice in Wonderland. So. All right, so let's do that. You didn't give any notice either. You've been trying to figure out uh, oh, an afternoon. I think Tuesdays are really good, right? Nobody, um, Kathy, are you going back to Tuesdays? Kathy used to stream Tuesday nights. I have to watch the recording, yeah.
It was only an hour. That's good, though. Your first time. Did you find it hard? I think it's not that bad. All right, so I got that. I'm going to cut this one off. One there, one here, and the other one down in here. One, two, three. And the other one this way. Somewhat you couldn't figure out, oh, the Zoom. <laughs> the Zoom is a pain. We used to be able to Zoom um, a lot, but now you can't Zoom at all, hardly. Like I only have two possible ways. It's This is the closest I can get and I can go farther out. That's about it. So let's just clear just so the whole page. Just so out of here. I'm just giving it another coat. So we'll have it all cleaned. Oh, I don't want to put the bunny down. Ah, I got just on my new one. We're going to put the bunny down. Can I turn off the autofocus? Yes. Yeah, hold on. Uh, I know it's a pain, especially because it's the white um, showing. It takes a minute for my camera to come up. To what happens too when I kind of work on the camera, it like pixelates. Like I can see my hands are moving really slow. All right, hold on. I'm not looking at the chat till I fix the focus here. <laughs> Kill the rat. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, there we go. It's done. I should say something earlier that was bugging me. Better now? Should I put his whole body in there? I'll put his whole body in there. It's just too cute. Better? Okay, thanks, Janet. So what are you going to do about streaming tomorrow, Janet? All right, so there we go. Time is it? Oh my gosh, nine o'clock already. So we're going to do the roses and then maybe what we'll have to do is we'll have to do the color on Wednesday. So let's see. All right. I'm thinking I want to do the roses on a separate page. So let's try that. Let's move this out of the way. So there you can see. Isn't it cute, the bunny? So cute. Oh, you're going to use the rats. Okay, that's good. 
All right, so we need a piece of paper. And we're going to stamp the girls. So I'm going to make, see how I'm going to do this now. So we only need three girls now. So let's see which three girls we're going to use. So I like her, I like her face. I like this one. And maybe that. But we'll do these three. She's looking down. That was, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do those three. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp these first. So let me find them first. So this one is, that's that one. And I already cut these apart. So if you missed that in the last couple streams, I did that already. Uh, what's this one? That's her, and then we need the other one. Which one's the other one? This one? Is that her? Yeah, that one's her. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp her first, then um, uh, let's see. I need a little... I left that one on there. So no one streams on Monday night. Yeah, Monday night's good too. All right, we got that one. This kind of looks more to me like um, like her. All right, so that one goes here. This one goes here. And then this one, so what is this? Let me get this other one. Oh, uh, you like that many stamp set? Yeah, it comes all together with the faces. This is Jane's um, girls. I think it's called girl group, I think it's called. And then um, she cut it up, so I wind up cutting it up. Of course, I have one that's like, you know, all together. I have two. <laughs> Oh, thanks, CB. <laughs> All right. And then this one is going this way. All right, so there we have it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put these over here, over their face, and then put the roses on them. All right, so, you know, Colleen was like, because Eileen was teasing her. She's like, Santa will cut everybody's up. <laughs> I mean, if you want me to cut it up, I'll cut it up, but there's no guarantee it's going to be perfect. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's that. All right, so I'm going to use a little glue. I only need, like, a um, tape runner, which I don't have. I'm just going to use a little glue, a little glue stick. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Eileen was, um, Colleen was like, no, she's not. And Eileen's like, yes, she is. <laughs> All right. So we want to get this, like, perfect. So I'm covering this up so that we can stamp. We're either going to stamp over it or we're going to put some gel on it. Okay. 
All right, so I have this. So I'm debating whether we should um, should we use paste or I kind of want to keep it all white. There's no sense in me putting color paste because we're going to gesso over the whole thing. So I think I'm going to go. Oh, no, I'm not because we're going to cut these out. So I think we're going to go over with some. Should I do gold? I'm trying to think what color, um, what color I want to do this. Do I want to do gold, rose gold? Let's do the rose gold. So this is Finnabar's um, icing paste, and this one is the rose gold. You can see that there, rose gold. Of course, I'm not going to focus now, so. <laughs> Um, I need a palette knife. Where is that? Let me get one of those. The rose gold? Yeah, because in this glue we could sprinkle some rose gold on. Um, let's see, I have to get in here. Looking for my big palette knife. I don't have it. I'll have to use this one. The paste is really nice. It is, Eileen. <laughs> Did you see Happy Diane? She was showing her gold paste on. Uh... <laughs> oh, I didn't use this one. I thought I used this. Yeah, I did use this one. Let's say. So this is the rose gold. Can you see that? Kind of more pinky, but it's got gold in it. Really pretty. We used it for the necklace, remember? All right, so her face. We want her face right in the middle of the rose. And I'm going to have to make these roses a little bit bigger. So that is one of the roses there. And we'll take that off. And then we'll have to see how that's going to work. We'll just see how that works. So I don't have a lot of the swirlness. I might have to come back in here and maybe do it with ink. We'll have to see. that one and then this one do this way I'm going to dry this and I'm going to add some more um, paste on there after. All right, let's dry this. So he can, oh, let me get rid of this first. Uh, maybe I can just get rid of it on here. Need a wipe. Need a wipe.
Who does Kathy Holman watercolors down on her collage? You want to get the paste off right away. So. All right. I don't know what got it on here. Oh, what a mess. Dries what with a very thin layer. This is yeah, it's a very thin layer and it dries uh, nice and hard because you heat gun. You're back. Okay. Oh, I'm confused with me nuts. Night brown. do now is I want to make these petals bigger. <clears throat> so let's see if you could do that. Roberta, welcome. They're new. Familiar face. Not a familiar face for me. All right. Let's see. So what we want to do is add more petals. So let's see, I'm going to do that. I'll try this. Let's see how that works. I don't want to really get it on her face. So. That's good. I'm gonna do the same thing when it's gonna add them. Add some more on. Not really looking at the chat, so. Underneath. See, we're just making the roses just a little bit bigger. Good. Then we'll add a couple more on that side. So let me just put the heat gun again. In that. So heat gun.
time is it? Now I can have 20 minutes, so. Too bad. So now I want to get down here. <laughs> what Got a little under the stencil to add. We're going to cut these out. Oh, got a little bit on her face. Let's fix it. All right, I'm going to go with just that, and then we'll see how it goes. If we have to add more, maybe when I get on the page, I'll add some more petals or something. All right, so we need baby wipe. All right, so we're going to cut these out. Oh, I better heat dry that first. So heat gun. A little bit like those. This one looks the most, but I don't, I don't know about that one. Before we cut it out, let's um, let's color it. Oops. All right, so I can't find my palette for Jane. Where is it? To use this one. So I'm just coloring the skin first. Just be in the chat for a second. Nothing.
なんですよね。Oops. I'm gonna have to use a drama stick for some of that. I'll come up with how much these two. Huh? All right, so there. So we have a little color on their face. There's that one. All right, so let's cut these out. You can see her wiggle. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? go just a little bit longer because I don't I want to at least try to get everything on the cover and at least put some color on there just so we could see what it looks like. You have to go and have a great weekend. Hopefully Janet can fix her problem tomorrow Aww. so she could stream and then Dee Dee's on tomorrow. I'm finally finished with the dentist. I'm so happy about that. <clears throat> so hopefully I'll be able to join in more on Mondays now. All right, so there's one. Oh, it's cute, did not she? <laughs> Do I want to go with her long hair? No. Yeah, no more dentists. Woohoo! I'm so happy. That was a long two months. <laughs> so we'll see if we have to add any more petals on after this. There's two. We should color them too before we put them on. I messed that up really bad there. I know, no more dentists. It's so happy. <laughs> Jean, when do you hear from the contest that you went? Isn't that pretty soon? Or still more time need? <clears throat> Jean entered a watercolor painting with watercolor, right? For a big contest. So we're still waiting here, I think. Ooh, that's a little wet. No, they still, oh, the end of January. Oh my gosh, that's a long time. Put your link up there so people can vote because I have a vote because I don't remember the link. 
All right, so there we go. So we have our roses. So where's my white pen? <clears throat> Joyce, oh, poor Joyce. I'm picking on Joyce. Uh, so we need white. What color eyes should we give her? We need some maybe green eyes. Wait, that's still wet. Brown eyes? We'll give one of them brown and we'll give one of them green. Let's see. This one's a little, with some little brown eyes. Brown, one blue, green, one blue, and one green. How's that? And a smaller brush. That's the one I did. I don't know which one I did. <coughs> this one will give her green. All right, what color hair? Let's see. <clears throat> well, I have to be pink. So we have pink hair on here. I might use one of her, her stickers too for um, Alice. Oh, this one's too small. <clears throat> Maybe we'll go with the uh, red, the opera red. This red. Let's do that one. Let's go on with the yellow first. I like this one yellow hair. <clears throat> and I'm going to just yellow. And then we'll come in with um, maybe this orange. Well, that's more like red. There we go. <clears throat> Might come in with some colored pencils, maybe. So we got that one. I like that. So let's do that one. We'll give her some red hair. Red, orange. Not really reading the chat. Oh, let's see. I don't want this red too.
I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and work some colored pencils. <coughs> and then once I will continue with, um, with the cover, and then maybe we can get onto a, a page. That would be nice. Let's two. Yes, I'm kind of all pink. Let's say you have uh, they're talking. I don't know what they're talking about there. It's hard to monitor the chat and paint at the same time. All right. So let's see that one's pretty good. All right, so let's put that on and see if we need any leaves there. All right, so I'm going to put this one here at the bottom, this one here at the top. Oh, where's the other one? There it goes. And this one here. So one, ah, two, three. And then this way we can put Alice in Wonderland towards the bottom. So that looks pretty good. So that's how that's going to look. Here there's only had two chatting and I'm struggling. <laughs> uh. Oh, I don't know. Teresa was just here before. How is Randy doing? I haven't seen them on Facebook or anything. All right, so for the background, I'm thinking I'm going to do a big wash of just blue. Big wash of blue. You do not want. <laughs> All right, so it's 9.30. So I'm going to go back in and I'll do some colored pencils. We'll paint this. I'm trying to think what I want to do for the background. Maybe yellow. Let's just give it a big wash of yellow for right now. Let's see what happens. So let me get a brush. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put a big wash of yellow for right now. And then we can always change it. Well, I did say I was going to do gesso over the whole thing. But, oh, my poor little handle, a little crooked. All right, so let's see. I want to hold this up so that I can get this to run a little. It's a nice bright yellow, that's for sure.
I'm going to check the other way. We're going to have a sunny day. <laughs> Are these lights it's just like really drying fast all right so we have that side wash let's do this other side Hilda, welcome. We're almost done for tonight. Just trying to get some color on here. But we'll be able to start on Wednesday. I might go back over and do the mushrooms while you guys are. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever with this cover. <laughs> and I need it for class. It starts tomorrow. So we'll add some more color. I might add some sprays or something like that. I don't know yet. But at least we have a base color on there. We have something on there. <laughs> I like the yellow in the background. See, even that tape, the tape that we put on, it takes watercolor really nicely. See that? Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. All right, there we go. Let's dry this. So I'm going to get the heat gun. with the roses on there. So that one will go there. This one will go down here. And that one will go up there. That'll be cute. Come here. I'm thinking I'm going to color the mushrooms. I don't know what color. What color do you think I should do the mushrooms? Should I do it like bright colors or should I do it like the beige kind of colors? Like a mushroom, like a regular mushroom. Oh, I like the flowers a lot. They look so cute. And then debating. So we're going to put here Alice in Wonderland down in here. And then I just can't decide what I'm going to do more to the background. You can't see the bunny. There, the bunny's here. We could add some more color. There's a bunny. I'm going to add some more colors. So whether I, I think I'm probably going to go with blue and then green. 
Those mushrooms are screaming a color. I know, but what color? Like a bright color? Or should I go with the regular mushroom tan brown? Like what color? Like what colors are the mushrooms in, Alice? <laughs> are they bright? Like fuchsia? <laughs> I'm really liking the roses, the little girls in there. So cute. You like red with red with the spots. Oh yeah, and then we can carry the red from here. That's a good idea, Joan. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna do the blue in the background with the green leaves, like just blue border or something like that. Red and white, yeah, red and white mushrooms. Okay, that's what I'll do. Those spotty ones are red. Yeah, red and white. Okay, that's what I'll do. All right, so I am going to call it a night. Um, I probably will go ahead and do the mushrooms. They should all be different, all different colors. All right, well, I'll have to think about it. But I'll probably going to try to have this page, the mushrooms done and the roses done, and then maybe we just have to do the background so that we could start on um, some of the inside pages. It's starting to look cute. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks to my mods, Eileen, Joan, Jean. <laughs> All right, thanks, everyone. So have a great week, and then I'll see you back here on Wednesday. And then thanks, April. <laughs> uh, show us on Wednesday, yeah, because otherwise we'll be here forever. So I think I'm going to finish this, and I'll post it on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. So, And then we'll work on a page on the inside. So. It'll give me a chance to read up a little bit about Alice. <laughs> All right. Night, Patty. Night, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Dorothy. <laughs>